single line display of the main circuit. Anyone configuring load feeders in the TIA selection tool not only obtains the appropriate device combinations, but also a clear representation of the main circuit in the form of this in-feed diagram, which is also known as a single line diagram. This diagram provides you with a structured overview of the flow diagram that can be easily adapted with a click. For instance, you can add another load feeder by clicking on the plus button and then configure your motor by clicking on electrical load. In this example, a 5.5 kilowatt motor. Continue to switch gear and here too, by clicking on calculate, you will directly obtain the appropriate switch gear and cable cross sections. By clicking on infeed in the project navigation on the left and switching to the circuit view, you can return to this view in which this new load feeder now appears. Here are a few practical tips for your work. For each individual load feeder, you can use the info button to visualize the calculation information. These are later automatically stored in the documentation. For example, information about lines, information on the calculation details, such as loop impedances, or information about the short circuit currents. You can also zoom in and out of the diagram view individually for your monitor using the zoom slider or simply hold down the control button and scroll forward or backward accordingly with the scroll wheel. You can also use this overview circuit diagram as an image file. This can then either be saved on the hard disk or copied to the clipboard to embed it in a new document doc file or email using a right click. In the infeed view, you will find all the important details about your load feeders. The components with their most important parameters, information on the cable cross section, and information on electrical loads and short circuit calculations. Of course, you can also name each load feeder. The designation then appears below the load feeder. To create a new infeed, simply click on New Device. Then Load Feeder Configurator and create a new load feeder. This is used to automatically create a new infeed as you can see in this example. Here too, a click on infeed and a switch over to the main circuit is sufficient to open this view and to add further load feeders directly via the plus symbol. Another nice feature is the ability to copy and paste load feeders using the mouse. Just right click on a load feeder, copy and another right click paste and you've already duplicated this load feeder. This allows you to set up equivalent motor outputs quickly and easily using the copy paste function. You can always keep track thanks to the overview circuit diagram in the infeed view. Have fun trying it out! Siemens, ingenuity for life.